up because again, those breaks are one minute during the game. You can make all of those 130 if you have to. Because you can, now that we're not with Learfield, you have that ability to add a 30 second spot, right? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, Momo's on Riverfront. Oh, shoot. I meant to say that, too. Where is it? Riverfront Park right there in North Charleston. Huh? Or just say, if you want you to say Momo's Restaurant in North Charleston on the river. It's right there on the Old Navy Base. If we can get it finalized before Friday. Hey, good job, Anderson. Uh, no, everybody's going to be yeah. working it out <laughs> today. And welcome back, everyone, to TD Arena. Everett German and Danny Johnson courtside as we get you ready for tonight's Charleston versus Iona matchup. So this will be the first time, Danny, that Charleston will face Iona. The Gales, they're out of the MAC, the M-A-A-C. They won their conference last year. Of course, they were coached by Rick Pitino, 
went to the uh, big dance. They lost to UConn. So how about this, Danny? The two teams that are playing tonight, both of their lo uh, losses, their last loss was We're to the, the two teams that played game. in the That's national right. championship <laughs> game. But uh, I own a program filled with a lot of tradition. They've really been the dominant, really dominant team uh, in the MAC. And tonight, Charleston and I, they're going to have their hands full. This is a team that has a lot of pride. Yeah, I mean, they, Rick Pitino is one of the best college coaches of all time. He's won national championships at multiple schools. So him going to Iona and doing a great job, not surprising. But they're just going to keep it going. They're known for their basketball game. So, again, Iona, we talked about it, 13 new players, only one player returning. And, unfortunately, for them, he's not available tonight. <laughs> right. Osborne Shima, the 6'10 uh, center for them, first team all Mac out with a leg injury, so they're going to be shorthanded tonight. Not necessarily what you want going against a Charleston team uh, here at TD Arena. Yeah, they have to figure out everything. You know, the joke was Patino left town and the sprinter left one player, and that one player is not even playing tonight. So, yeah, they're going to, their whole team, they're brand new. Luckily for Charleston, they're not starting from scratch. They start with some of their key players and building around it. So, advantage to the Cougars, but you got to come out here and play the game. Exactly. So Iona in town to battle our Cougars. A lot of excitement, slowly but surely. It's starting to fill in here, Danny. It's about to be that time when the six erupts as the Iona Gales taking the floor right now. Charleston will be coming out of the locker room shortly. Iona and Charleston, this is our city. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. All right, Anderson, so let's do this. I'm about eight minutes out, three minutes. So I'm, when we bring this back, I'm going to have a quick segment, throw at the break so that way when the national anthem's played, we'll be in break, and then we come back, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay, perfect. And welcome back to the six. Both teams now on the floor taking their final warm-ups as we get ready for the showdown tonight. Danny, you know I always love asking you because you know keys to a Charleston victory tonight. I think tonight is just about settling the nerves. Game one is the most difficult, like, like any sport. It's a little choppy. Timing's off a little bit. Motion's out of check. Just got to keep that under check the first game. You want to play so well for the fans. You just have to balance yourself. And I think if Charleston just plays their game, relax, just go through their progressions like practice, they should be fine. Both teams now, coaching staffs now on the sidelines. It's a lot of speculation. Ante Berzovic is okay. He's going through the warm-ups, but Ante is not going to get the start tonight. He's been a little banged up. Nothing serious, but I think more of a precautionary uh,
and a welcome from beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. It's the 2023-2024 basketball opener as the Iona Gales in town to battle the College of Charleston Cougars. Everett German and Danny Johnson courtside as we get you ready for tonight's showdown between Iona and Charleston. Two mid-major powers, Danny, and tonight this Iona team looks a little different than the one that went to the tournament last year, but still a new coach, a new energy, a lot of expectations for Iona. Yes, without a doubt. We're talking two teams that not only showed up to the tournament, but you knew they were there. So these teams are confident and ready to get it in game one of a new season. And of course, you got Charleston. They too went to the tournament last year. But again, two new teams, essentially. Iona with 13 new players. As we take a look at the start lineups, Wenza Panzo will get the start along with Greg Gordon. Joel Brown, the transfer from California, Idon Treetout, and Sultan Aldewell. He'll get the start today as a late scratch as Osborne Ashima not able to go because of an injury. For your College of Charleston Cougars in the middle, Frankie Polacelli will get the start, the transfer from Stony Brook. He'll be joined in the start lineups by Rain Smith, Kobe Rogers, C.J. Fulton, and Ben Burnham for the Charleston Cougars. Let's take a look at the head coaches. First for Iona, there he is, the man in charge, Tobin Anderson. His first season as head coach of Iona, of course, at Iona after a very successful stint at Fairleigh Dickinson last year, pulling off the huge upset, defeating Purdue, and he translates that into a big time job at Iona. For the College of Charleston Cougars, Pat Kelsey in his third season. PK also led Charleston to the NCAA tournament last year. How about this, Danny? These two teams that they lost to in the NCAA tournament, UConn and San Diego State, both of those teams played for the national championship last year. Yeah, these are two teams that understand what it's like to fight to get a spot, to earn their name. So they're going to come out with a lot of pride. Those jerseys mean something. And I expect both sides to come out with lots of energy in game one. So it'll be, and we're underway here in Charleston. The opening tip won by the Gales. It's Joel Brown to start it off. Immediately they'll go to the post, and the jump hook is good by Greg Gordon. And Iona strikes first. Rain Smith with the bounce pass over to Policelli. Over to Smith. Ben Burnham drives into the paint. Shot up with the right hand, and it's good. Ben Burnham sporting the mass. A broken nose, I believe, but looks like he is okay. We're tied at two. Back the other way quickly. A turnaround jumper in the paint is good. The soft touch by Gray Gordon. He's got four points. That's Rain Smith in the front court. Over to Ben Burnham. Thought about the three instead. Drives left baseline. He'll go up. Ball knocked out of his hands. And our first foul of the night will send Benny Burnham to the free throw line. And we talked about Ben in the open. We talked about how great a player he can be. We've seen flashes. Now we're looking for the consistency. In the first two plays, very aggressive going to the rim when Ben Burnham's at his best. The foul was called on Panzo. First free throw from Burnham is good. Burnham last year. Average nine points a game. Three rebounds. He's the 6'7 junior from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Van ties it at four. Just underway here at TD Arena. 19 13 left in the first half. Gordon on the right wing above the three point line. Pass stolen by Kobe Rogers. Rogers on the breakout and he will lay it in. Won a championship at the D2 level last year and gets his first bucket as a Cougar and gives Charleston. Their first lead of the night. Back the other way. Gordon with the driving runner in the paint is good. And we're tied at six as Rain Smith dribbles into the front court. Tried to pass it off to C.J. Fulton. Ball tapped out of bounds. And you can tell Danny Iona wants to make this an up-tempo pace. Typical New York teams. That area has players who like to get to the basket. Used it off the bounce, getting to the rim. Iona's no different. A lot of guys that want to get to that painted area and do damage. Rain Smith inbounds it to Fulton. Fulton, the transfer from Lafayette. It's a double team, goes it to Burnham. Burnham drives to the basket, picks up his dribble, kicks it out to Fulton. Wide open three. 
Off the iron, no good. Rebound grabbed by Gordon. Check that. Yes, Gordon. Over to Panzo. He'll walk into a three-pointer. Hits the back iron. No good, but the offensive rebound and the putback is good by Gordon. Gordon's got eight points. And a near steal. As you can tell, this pressure really starting to get or giving Charleston a little bit of fits. Yeah, and Rain's not a natural ball handler. They're trying to get him in a situation where he's out on the floor having to make point guard decisions. I'm sure they looked at the tape and said, hey, make him put it on the deck. He's a great shooter. Make him do something else. So Fulton will inbound it right in front of the eye on a bench. He'll get it into Policelli. Policelli over to Smith. Reverse around to Burnham. Three-pointer left corner off the iron. No good. Policelli gets his first rebound. On the right baseline, out to Coley Rogers. Fakes through three. Drives. Kicks over to Rain. Catch. Fire. Three. Bang! Rain Smith with the three from the top of the key. And Charleston on top. Nine to eight with 17.55 left to play. First half. Treat out. Top of the key between the circles. We'll hand it off to Brown. Brown, the transfer from California. Let's go to the tree top. He'll drive into the paint. Right hand finish. No good. Left it short. Ball goes out of bounds off of Policelli. So it'll stay Iona basketball as Bryce Butler will check into the lineup. Let's see who will place Kobe Rogers. It seems like right away, every Iona player that touches the ball, they're trying to get to the paint. There's no emphasis on three-point shooting, which we usually see a lot of. Big emphasis on getting to the paint. Iona with the basketball. And a foul's going to go against Ben Burnham as he tried to bump the cutter. Both teams with one team foul thus far. 17-38 left to play first half, and Charleston on top, 9-8. To it's Panzo over to Tree 2, back over to Gordon. Gordon hands it off to Tree 2, guarded by Butler. Over to Brown, Brown drives straight to the basket. Bounce pass out to Tree 2, five seconds to shoot. Butler hounding him. He'll force a shot up at one second. No good. And they're going to call a shot clock violation. Great defense by Charleston. That's it. And that's what Charleston wants to do. Wall off the paint. Very early. You can see. Triple penetration, the key. You got to wall it off and keep them out of it. Make force them into contested jump shots. I don't know it was preseason second in the MAAC. A team with a lot of tradition. Two of the better mid-major teams in the country on display here tonight. Butler trying to get into the paint, gets into the paint, spins, turns, step through, force a shot up with the right hand. It's no good. The rebound grabbed by Gordon. Gordon off to a great start tonight. Already with eight points and two rebounds. Gordon in front of the Charleston bench, working against Policelli, backs his way down, turn around, jump hook, no good. Policelli can't come up with the rebound. Gordon gets the offensive rebound, skip pass, over to Panzo. Out to Brown. Brown over to Tree 2. Five seconds to shoot. Shot force with the left hand. No good. Policelli grabs the rebound. Outlet ahead to Rain Smith. Rain in the front court. Behind the back dribble. Lost the ball. Got it back. Over to Fulton. Fulton. Bryce Butler. Wide open three. Off the iron. No good. Rebound grabbed by Butler. Butler kicks it over to Policelli. Fakes the three. Drives into the paint. Comes to jump stop. Good Shot move. up with the left hand, and it's good. Frankie Policelli getting his first basket as a Cougar. Not his first basket in this building, but a first as a Cougar. A lot of buckets in this building from that guy just on another team. Great patient veteran move right Three-pointer there. Three-pointer from the left wing. No good. Offensive rebound by the Gales. As Panzo has it top of the key. Off the trade two. Over to Brown, left hand dribble, now top of the key, picked up by Policelli. Comes to the stop, spins, shot up with the left hand, and it's good as the kiss off the glass by Brown. And it's now 11 to 10, Charleston. 15-25 left to play. Fulton on the right sideline in the front court. Pass tipped, then stolen by Brown. Brown ahead. Tree 2 drives to the basket, shot up with the left hand, shot it over the rim. No good. Policelli grabs the rebound. Policelli in the front court. Left hand pass over to Rain Smith. 
Green with the turnover in the backcourt. As Gordon drops to the basket, and the layup is good. You can tell these referees are letting them play, which is good. Yeah, if you're Charleston, you're a little disappointed you're not meeting the physicality of Iona so far. Right now, they're putting body on body and winning the matchup. Policelli the other way, three on two. Butler, wide open, drives the right baseline. He'll drive, shot up off the glass. It's good. He's fouled, and he'll have an opportunity for a three-point play when we come back. Up and down, a fair Safe to say, early on, we can see why these are two of the top mid-major programs in the country. Charleston on top, 13 to 12, 14.35 left to play. You're listening to College of Charleston Basketball on the Charleston Sports Network. I'm just being myself, cool as can be. talk about Mercedes you know they think about quality one of the proudest things that I think I've seen is the development and opportunities for people to see how far that I can grow within the company something my grandparents never seen before you know electric fans just to be a part of that that's something I'm proud of we are Mercedes-Benz Vans Charleston we are we are we are we are, are Mercedes-Benz Vans Charleston I am so proud to say I work there I helped build that van Hendrick. Getting cash for your car is as easy as one, two, three with Hendrick Buys Cars. Step one, visit HendrickBuysCars.com. Enter your license plate number or VIN. Step two, answer some simple questions and receive a cash offer in seconds. Step three, claim your offer and you're good to go. It's the easy way to sell your car fast. We'll even come and pick it up. Get cash for your car now and you don't have to buy one of ours. Learn more at HendrickBuysCars.com. When you've been hurt in a car wreck, you can begin to feel lost, confused, unsure of where to turn. Past due medical bills keep showing up, and you feel like you're going in circles. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, it's time to call all nines. George Sink Injury Lawyers has the experience to help you get your money faster. We're available to take your call nights, weekends, 24-7. Just call all nines. Get George Sink Law Firm on the line. Call 999-999. Pat Kelsey. We'll figure it out. Iona, as we mentioned last year, finished 27 and 8, 17 and 3 in conference play. Lost in the opening round of the tournament to eventual national champion uh, UConn. Yeah, we talked about it in the MAC preseason poll. They were picked second. And as you can see, Osborne Shima, the only player back from last year's Iona team, and unfortunately, he is a no-go tonight. So Bryce Butler will attempt his first free throw as a Cougar. By the way, Ryder, the preseason favorite to win the MAC, as they got eight first-place votes. Iona got two. Evan Kilminster, Mayar Wohl, and Ante Berzovich on the floor with Bryce Butler and Kobe Rogers. Iona also with some substitutions. We'll get you those here in a minute. I can tell you right now, Terrell Williams has it. Off to his teammate, Jeremiah Quigley. And the jumper is good. 14-13. As Quigley able to connect. And a little trouble in the backcourt as Kilminster is trapped in the backcourt. The timeout taken by Charleston. Danny, you touched on it. The intensity definitely in the favor of Iona early on. They are playing extremely hard, especially on the defensive end. I don't think they expected a full court press to start game one, but that's what you do. Basketball is all about it's the chessboard. You're trying to take the other team away from their strengths, and they know ball handling has been traditionally a, pro a problem for us, even in our good years. 
So why not test us? So I think Iona came out with a game plan to say, hey, let's pick them up full court, put some pressure, see if they can keep down the turnovers and not speed the game up that'll turn the game in our favor. A lot of Iona fans made the trip from New York. Student section packed here, the opening of the college basketball season. So Terrell Williams Jr. will guard the ball. Bryce Butler will inbound it. It's in Kilminster. Kilminster, another Australian on this roster for Charleston. Goes over the top to Wohl. Wohl drives the right baseline underneath to Ante Bursvich. Shot up, shot blocked, and the rebound grabbed by Iona. Back the other way. It's Williams, jumps into Berzovich, shot up off the glass, and it's good. Nice job of Williams using his body. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're using the off arm and using their physicality to get to their spots. Charleston's going to have to meet, meet, match that physicality at some point in this game. Iona up 16 to 13, 13 22 left. Butler in the front court over to Berzovich, deep right corner, out to Kilminster. Kilminster out to Rogers. Rogers. Over to Ante. Ante drives. Shot up with the right hand, and it's good. Big Croatian with his first two points of the season, showing why he was preseason all CAA. That cuts into the Gales lead. Now down to one. 16 15. Iona with the lead and the basketball. 12 50 left to play in the first half. Jeremiah Quigley. Ball knocked out of the hands of Bryce, and then stolen by Wall. Wall on the break, got it. He will slam it home with two hands. The freshman, Meyer Wall from Raleigh, North Carolina, puts Charleston on top, 17-16. You have to love those active hands, Danny. That's what they got to do. They got to get in lanes, meet the physicality, and get out there and get some easy buck. Williams drives, lost his footing, couldn't connect. Rebound grabbed by Butler. Cougars on the run. Butler in the corner, Kilminster, fakes the three, drives, float on the right baseline, blocked from behind and right into the hands of the Gales. That's Quigley, front court over to Williams, top of the key guarded by Rogers. Charleston in a man-to-man. -man. Quigley over to Bryce. Back to Quigley. Drive by Bates, tough shot, no good, rebound grab by Berzovich. He'll start the break himself. Berzovich over to Cutton Butler. Left hand layup is good. Reward the big guy for running the floor. And he finishes with the left hand. And Charleston with the three point lead, 19 16, as Williams tried to answer. No good. Rebound grab by Butler. Over to Kilminster. Skip over to Rogers. Fix the three. Drives. Pass over to Kilminster. Three pointer. Missed it badly off to the right. Rebound grabbed by Iona. Quigley comes down with the rebound. Top of the key. Over to his teammate Williams. Back over to Bate. Gates, I should say. Correction. Bump. Pass. Williams. Quigley. Ten seconds on the shot clock. He'll reset the offense. Quigley. Jumper just inside the arc. Off the iron. No good. Wall with the high rebound. He'll start the break himself. Wall in the front court. Hands it off to Rodgers. Kilminster, back to Rogers. Ante drives left baseline. Pass, Kilminster, Butler. Butler down to Berzovich. He'll fire a three pointer. That one's off to the left. No good. Rebound grab by Rogers. Rogers had it knocked out of his hands. Then a foul's going to go against Rogers. A good call. As Rogers fouled, trying to get that possession back. So we'll have another stoppage of play, a media timeout. 10.36 left to play here in the first half, and Charleston leading Iona 19-16. We'll take a break. This is College of Charleston basketball on the Charleston Sports Network. Hello from Meyer Wool.
Charleston, as we mentioned, last season, 31 and four overall, 16 and two. Cole, regular season champions with Hofstra. Those Cougars won the conference championship, defeating UNC Wilmington in the championship game. Lost to San Diego State in the opening round there in Orlando. Preseason favorites to win the CAA, now known as the Coastal Athletic Association. Monte Berzovic, Rain Smith. And for the first time tonight, Danny, we'll see the freshman, James Scott. Scott, 6'11", from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Cougars in the midst of a 6-0 run over the last two and a half minutes. Back the other way, Rain Smith gets the missed rebound. He'll push it into the front court. Smith with the left hand. Gets it over to Policelli. He'll catch fire. Three. Bang. Policelli. Now with five points on the night. Charleston up by six. 22-16. As Brown drives against Burnham. He'll back it away. Just outside the left elbow. Now top of the key. Pass around to Gordon. Gordon got off to a hot start. He's got 10 points already here tonight. 3-2, five seconds to shoot. 3-2, he'll come left, gets into the paint, shot up with the left hand, and he banks it in. Lead on 3-2, makes it 22-18. 9-30, left to play first half. Rain Smith working against the pressure, gets in the, in the front court to Ben Burnham. Burnham goes left. Now backs his way in, jump hook, shot up with the right hand in the paint, and it's good. Ben Burnham with the two inside the paint, makes it 24-18. Charleston on top, 9-10 left to play first half. Gales back on the attack. Panzo looking, 3-2. They'll dump it down to Gordon. Gordon working one-on-one -on -one against Policelli, backs his way down. Trap picks up his dribble, looking for someone, throws it off of Rain Smith, then it goes off of... Gordon, he was out of bounds, so it'll be Charleston basketball. And that's the defensive effort this crowd comes to love, respect, and want. They want to see the Charleston defense that boots up and don't let people inside the paint. And so far, the last five, six possessions, they've gotten back to Charleston defense. So full court pressure still being applied by the Gales. It's Fulton trapped in the corner, back to Smith. Smith pushes it into the front court. Rain in the corner, Frankie. Three-pointer from the right corner, bang! The grad transfer from Stony Brook showing, hey, I can shoot the TD Arena whether I'm wearing Seawolves gear or Charleston's gear. As Frankie off to a hot start tonight, he's got eight points. And Charleston's up 27-18, three-pointer the other way, no good. Policelli grabs the rebound. Pass off to Ben Burnham. Burnham in the front court. Benny wearing the mask. Benny gets it to the paint. Over to Frankie for another three. That one off the back iron, no good. Rebound grab by Fulton, that knocked out of his hand, stolen. Run out for Panzo, and he will lay it in. He's a Panzo with the easy two. Makes it 27 to 20. Charleston on a 14 to two run over the last five minutes. And a lot of that is about breaking the press, not just to break it, but to score. Charleston has done that the last few possessions. Fulton in the front court. Pass it, pass, actually stolen. Good defense by Ona. Gordon ahead. Williams Jr. shot up off the glass, it's good, and he's fouled. Terrell Williams Jr., the transfer from Southern University with an opportunity for an old-fashioned three-point play when we come back. Frankie Policelli starting to feel at home here in the sixth. As he has Charleston on top by five, but 7.48 left to play in the first half. You're listening to College of Charleston Basketball on the Charleston Sports Network. North Charleston, a great place to live, work, and play indeed, which is exactly why we've opened our second office location right here in the heart of Park Circle. Times have certainly changed, but one thing remains the same. At the Pepper Law Firm, you'll work with an attorney you know and trust, one you can relate to, because relationships and results keep this train moving always will. To work with an attorney in our North Charleston office, call the Pepper Law Firm today. Bust. 
When I first joined the board at Papa John's, I brought some big ideas. We're gonna need more pepperoni. But my biggest idea, the shakaroni pizza. Make it bigger, make it bigger. More, 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 it's better. It's extra large with extra cheese and covered in more than 60 pepperonis. When I say a handful of pepperoni, I mean my handful. What makes shakaroni huge is that Papa John's donates $1 from every pizza to the Papa John's Foundation. One, two, three, shakaroni! Pizza gets bigger when you shakaroni. Only at Papa John's. This is your vacation, your beach, your fields of green, skies of blue, mountains of majesty. You're an athlete, you're obsessed, you're in love, you're in pain, spirit drained, in agony, fighting gravity, because you made a commitment to yourself and others to work on your game, build your frame in blazing heat, exhausted and beat, because when you refuse to yield, your spirit is revealed. You are an athlete. MUSC Health Sports Medicine. When you've been hurt in a car wreck, you can begin to feel lost, confused, unsure of where to turn. Past due medical bills keep showing up, and you feel like you're going in circles. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, it's time to call all nines. George Sink Injury Lawyers has the experience to help you get your money faster. We're available to take your call nights, weekends, 24-7. Just call all nines. Get George Sink Law Firm on the line. Call 999-999. What a beautiful night here in Charleston. Obviously, a shot of the battery. You really are lucky, Danny, to live oh, in such man. a pretty city and such a great arena. And see a great basketball game tonight between Iona and Charleston. Iona shooting 46% from the floor, 11 for 24, while Charleston shooting 55%, 11 of 20. Iona yet to attempt a three-pointer. Charleston, meanwhile, three of nine from behind the arc. Williams Jr. He's got four points so far. Will look to complete the three-point play. That's a telling stat that they haven't taken one three in today's college game, right? Tells you a lot. So Williams makes the free throw. The lead down to four for Charleston, 27-23. Butler. It's then to Kilminster. Kilminster working against Quigley. He'll go over to Rogers. Rogers in the front court. Rogers gets it to Kilminster, middle of the floor. We'll get the screen from Berzovich. Throw back to Ante. Ante dribbles left all the way around. Shot out with the left hand off the glass. It's good. That's his strong hand. That's an easy shot for Ante Berzovich. Yeah, him going to his strong hand side, you're not going to stop that. He's just too skilled once he gets that low, that close to the basket. 29-23, Charleston on top. 7-05 left to play first half. Tree two, dribbles to the top of the key. Bounce pass over to Williams Jr. Over to Quigley. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Panzo. Hands it off. Quigley, three-pointer in front of the Charleston bench is good. Jeremiah Quigley, freshman guard from Maryland, makes it 29-26. Back on the other end, a foul. The foul's going to go, I believe, against Wiza Panzo. You know, when you first watch this Charleston team, you have a lot to be excited about. You can see how all the pieces are going to fit together even more nicely as the season gets along. This is, again, this is game one. But you can see the talent levels Charleston has. It's just about putting it together. That'll be Panzo second, so he'll take a seat. Charleston inbounds it on the baseline. Torricelli drives through the zone. He's going to be fouled on the pass. Little zone action being shown here. Danny trying to slow this Charleston offense down. Exactly. You know, they saw they were speeding him up. It was working. All of a sudden, Charleston can break the press, get easy baskets. I don't know, Anderson doing a good job of adjusting his defense to try to, again, slow the pace, as you said. That fouls against Gordon. That's his first. Under the basket, Berzovich thought he had an easy two, but he was fouled by Quigley, and instead, Berzovich will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Charleston does such a great job oh, on those inbound, inbound plays. plays. They yeah. always seem to get so good. solid looks. Whatever they want. It, it almost like they come out of it getting whatever they want. That's difficult to do. You had to design some. Pretty intricate plays. The defenses are pretty good. 
So the left-hander Berzovic takes his time. First free throw, hits the front iron, hits the back iron, and falls through. So the big Croatian will have one more. Again, preseason All-CAA electee. You just love watching players that the game seems easy to them, right? It just seems easy for him. He calmly sinks both. Charleston back up by five. 31-26, 6.30 left to play first half. Back the other way. Quigley on the left baseline, dumps it down, and the easy two for Gene R. Angoa. Makes it 31-28. Rogers in the front court, in the corner to Butler. Back to Rogers. He'll line up a three-pointer off the iron. No good. Ante with the offensive rebound. Ante with the lay-in. Berzovich, after not starting, starting to get going. He's got eight points. Charleston's up 33-28, 5.55 left to play first half. Quigley on the right wing. Quigley back over to Williams. He'll line up a three-pointer, and it's off the iron. No good. Rogers grabs the rebound. Will be Rogers in the front court. Ahead to Butler. Butler on the left baseline. Skip pass. Frankie, three-pointer, top of the key, off the iron. No good. Rebound grabbed by Iona. Gordon in the front court. 101 against Policelli. Right up at the rim. Right hand layup is no good. Frankie Policelli grabs the rebound. Outlet ahead to Kobe Rogers. Rogers drives into the paint. Pass over to Butler. Drives right baseline. Trapped. Pass over to Kilmister. Berzovich wide open three off the back iron. No good. Rebound grabbed by Gordon. Gordon. Tobin Anderson wanting Iona to run. Gordon in the front court. He'll slow it down. Over to Williams Jr. Back over to Quigley. Tree two. Working against Policelli. Moralgan working. Hands it off. To Gordon. Back over to Tree Two. He'll line up a deep NBA three-pointer, and it's good. Tree Two from three. Top of the key. And the lead is down to two for Charleston. 33-31. 4.45 left to play first half. Kilminster over the top to Rogers. Rogers underneath to Berzovich. He goes up for the two-hand slam. He can't finish it because he's fouled by Tree Two, and instead... Berzovich will have to earn his two at the free throw line. Yeah, it's just a great play, great find and transition. This is how you want to stop pressure, that's how you do it. Push the ball up the floor, attack the rim, get dunks and layups and easy shots. It's a bunch of substitutions. Both teams playing extremely hard tonight. <laughs> Let's say water is in uh, demand for sure as Berzovich makes the first free throw. Well, you played sports. You know what it's like when you're really hyped up and excited about something. It seems like you get tired really quickly. <laughs> the drilling sort of drains you. And that's what you have to deal with with game one. Sometimes the drilling kicks in, and you got, you got to get a, a blow a little bit more than usual. All the Wale. Brown. Bates. Quigley. And looks like Gordon on the floor for Iona. For Charleston, you got Fulton, Wall. Smith, Burnham, and James Scott. Berzovich made the second free throw as well. Charleston up by four. 35-31, 4.25 left first half. Steal by Burnham. Burnham looking iron at the rim, and he misses the big one-hand slam. Ball goes all the way into the Iona bench, and Batman Ben sporting the mask to protect his nose was trying to bring the house down after coming up with a nice steal. And that's what he does. He brings that energy. I don't have a problem with that. That's how you go to finish. Sometimes it's going to happen. What I don't like is you go in there soft and lollygagging. He went there to go to finish. Hey, just got to get the two points outside of that. Love the attack. So Joel Brown, the transfer from Cal in the front court. He'll go left towards the Charleston band. Now straight to the rim. Bump, no call, shot up, and it's good. Joel Brown. Cuts that Charleston lead down to two. 35-33, and then a foul in the backcourt. Let's see who will it go against. So the foul will go against Alex Bates. That's the team first, team seventh. So when we come back, Rain Smith will be at the free throw line to shoot one plus the bonus. Exactly four minutes on the clock. 
Charleston up by two, 35-33. This is College of Charleston basketball on the Charleston Sports Network. Fans enjoying the action here tonight. Welcome all listening across the Charleston Sports Network on 94.7 FM, charlestonsportsradio.com. Also, those listening on the Varsity app. And, of course, all of our friends watching on Flow Hoops. You know, a lot of people. Now, I can tell you next year, Charleston will return the favor. This is a home-and-home series with Iona, so the Cougars will return the favor. Don't know the date, obviously, but we'll make the trip back up and tell you what I'm looking forward to. This is, a, I can see why this Iona team has had so much success. And again, this All is new 13 players. new players. That's right, that's right. But safe to say they have definitely bought into Tobin Anderson's system. Yeah, they, they replaced a great coach with another great coach. And when you do that, you tend to, to keep moving in the, in the right direction. So Rain Smith connects on both free throws. Charleston up by four, 37-33, 3.55 left first half. The Dale working against Scott, comes right. Hands it off to Brown. Brown working against the freshman now against the other freshman. They'll hand it off to Gordon. Gordon drives into the paint. Lost the ball. Gets it back. Trapped. Shot up. Shot no good. Rebound by Chuto. Over to three-pointer from the right corner is no good. Another offense rebound by Iona. They'll leave it off for Gordon. Shot up. Shot blocked by Scott right to the hands of Fulton. Great defense by Charleston. Multiple opportunities for the Gales, just could not connect. Burnham in the corner. Over to Wall. Wall, double team. Ball knocked out of his hands. So it'll stay Charleston's basketball. 3.13 on the clock. Charleston with a four-point lead, 37-33. We talked about James Scott, the long, lanky freshman, doing a great job of protecting the rim. And that's what they're asking for him. They're not going to ask him to do a whole lot of offensive stuff right now. Block shots and rebound. Burnham shot attempt is blocked out of bounds off the left baseline. So it will stay Charleston's basketball. 16 seconds left on the shot clock. Rain Smith will inbound. Back to Rain. Three point after he steps in. Ball rims out. An offensive rebound and a slam by the freshman James Scott. That's what he does best. Offensive rebound and finishes with authority. Tree two. Drives. Picked up by Wool. Off to Panzo. Three-pointer top of the key. Hits the back iron. It's no good. Rebound grab by James Scott. Ahead to Fulton. Cougars looking to run. Ahead to Burnham. 
Burnham in the front court. Hands it off to Rain Smith. Rain back to Burnham. He'll rise. He'll fire. Three off the iron. No good. Rebound grabbed by Iona. As Gordon comes down with the rebound, he'll bring it into the front court himself. Works against the freshman. Drives into the paint. Comes to the jump stop. Shot up. Shot no good. Rebound grabbed by Ben Burnham. Another point blank miss for the Gales. Fulton over to Burnham. Burnham top of the key. Drives down the lane. Shot up with the left hand off the glass, and it's good. Benny Buckets with the two. We'll have a stoppage of play. This looks like Tree two down on the ground. I think they're going to check the monitor to see. Yeah, they're going to have an official review. There's tree two got hit in the face. So official review. We'll keep it right here, Danny. Two sixteen on the clock. Charleston leading forty one to thirty three. I didn't get to see the play real time. I'm interested to see. Uh, Take a look at the replay exactly. here. Exactly. Burnham goes down. Oh, yeah, he hit Tree 2 in the face with the elbow when he was driving to the rim. I, I, I certainly hope that doesn't become a thing because, like, that's just making an offensive play. And I know that there's this big emphasis on player protection and above the shoulders and all that. I get all that. But there's basketball and it's a physical game. And I just hope they don't get to the point of stopping offensive moves. Tonight's officials, Mike McCloskey, Adam Vandenberg, and Mike Lang Fleury. So far, those three have done a phenomenal absolutely, job. Absolutely. First game for everybody. First game for yep. the officials. I'm sure they did some scrimmages. Our first game of the season. Looks like nothing will come of it. Yeah, I, I, again, this is coming from me, though. So, you know, of course, I want to protect the offensive players. But you just don't want to see that because there's just things that happen within a game that just remain in the game. So good no call there. So the Gales will have it. Tree two in the front court. Harden in. Drives left. Draw straight to the rim. Wraparound shot up. It's no good. He's fouled. And he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. Azante Berzovic will be the guilty party. Gene Arangolin. Will take the free throws. He's from Venezuela. 6 3 freshman. One of the seven freshmen on this Gale basketball team. So, pretty much a good mixture of you got five grad students, no seniors, one junior. One sophomore and seven freshmen as the free throw is good. Quigley will check into the lineup. Also, Aldo Wale. Tobin Anderson. 1995 graduate from Wesleyan in his first season. Second free throw is good. 41-35. Of course, Danny, we can't talk about the job Pat Kelsey's done. Man, unbelievable. Evan Kilminster, redshirt freshman from Australia, gets it in to Policelli. Back to Evan, middle of the floor, between the circles. Off to Ante Berzovic, left-hander, looking to hand it off. Nothing there. So instead, he'll pass it to Butler. Ten seconds to shoot. Butler, top of the key. Policelli, thought about the three. Puts on the floor. Drives, spins. Jump hook over the right shoulder. Good. A walking bucket. Frankie Policelli is. Policelli. Now with ten points. Charleston up 43-35. Williams Jr., jumper from above the free throw line is good. And a timeout taken by Tobin Anderson. That use it or lose it. 30-second timeout. That comes with 119 left to play here in the first half. Charleston with two guys already in double figures. Policelli and Surprise, Ante surprise. <laughs> I mean, Dude. again, Policelli last year, Danny at Stony Brook, averaged 14 exactly. points, nine rebounds. In his one game here, he had, I want to say, 22 
and 11. And for me, it's very easy to recognize a veteran player because they play at their own speed. Like, they don't speed up. You don't change what they do. They kind of stay within their realm and stay to their strengths. And just in their moves and, and how they go about their business, Policelli and, and Berzovic are, are just great at what they do. Policelli actually started at Dayton before transferring to Stony Brook. Already graduated. He's a grad transfer here. Charleston will break the huddle with Berzovic. Kobe Rogers, Evan Kilminster, Frankie Policelli, and Bryce Butler. Butler gets it into Kilminster. Kilminster backs dribbles away from the double team. And wraps around to Butler. Butler gets into the up. Ten second call. Good, good defense by Iona. You know, and this is this is a problem. I feel like it was a carryover from last season. It's the ball handling guards. Even though they have very good guards, they have a prone prone to speeding up and turning it over at certain points of the game. You want to settle in. Your guards are the guys that lead the offense, so you don't. Then they're turning it over. Everybody else follows suit. So you got to stay strong in that area. Substitutions for Charleston. <laughs> Kilminster, Butler, Scott, Burnham, and Rogers on the floor for the Cougars. You got Brown, Williams Jr. So it looks like you got Gordon, Panzo, and Tritu on the floor for Iona, and that one goes off the knees of Tree 2 on his drive to the basket. The turnover will give it back to Charleston with 52.3 seconds left. So, Edon Trey 2, I think I was saying Tree 2, Trey 2 with the turnover gives it back to the Cougars. Kilminster. Bounce pass over to Butler. Butler trapped. Trying to get into the front court. Gets it to Rogers. Pass stolen. Yep. And an easy two-hand slam by Greg Gordon. Makes it 43-39. And again, the press continues to give Charleston trouble. Butler turns his back. Gets it to Kilminster. Kilminster turns his back. Ball knocked out of bounds. And so it will stay with Charleston. 26.5 seconds left. And it looks like Iona has kind of gone straight all man-to-man -man on this full-court pressure. Yeah, they, they're not bothering really necessarily. They're just looking for opportunities to trap. Not necessarily going to do automatically, but looking for the run and jump situation. Rogers has two seconds to get in the front court, and he does with one second to spare. About a two-second differential between shot clock and game clock. 14 seconds. Kilminster near the timeline. Nine seconds. Dumps it down to Bersman. What a spin move by Ante. Shot up at the rim. No good ball. Knocked out of his hands. Goes out of bounds, and it will stay Charleston basketball. 5.2 seconds left on the game clock, but only two seconds left on the shot clock. As the sharpshooter, Rain Smith, will check into the lineup, he'll replace Kobe Rogers. Advantage Charleston right here, right? Out of bounds play. Two seconds on the shot clock. Right down in their wheelhouse. Kilminster will inbound it on the baseline. Two seconds to shoot. Kilminster, great Rain. play. Three-pointer from the left corner. Great Bang! play. Great play. One second left, and they won't get a shot off, and you called it, Danny. Charleston gets great looks on the out-of-bound plays, and that time was no different. Kilminster found a wide-open Rain Smith, contested at the end, but a great play. And Charleston will head to the locker room with a 46-39 lead at the half. An exciting first 20 minutes of basketball that first half lived up to what we thought lived up to the hype but again charleston with the seven point lead at the half we'll take a break this is college of charleston basketball on the charleston sports network i'm just being myself cool as can be when i'm being myself Easy peasy, crazy, done. What's the point if it ain't no fun? I 
The College of Charleston is the place where big ideas come to life, where you can start a business, study abroad, or change the world. A College of Charleston education will transform you. You'll become flexible and adaptable in the face of change. You'll chart your own course and make contributions in ways that matter in a community that values diverse thought with opportunities like no other. In a city like no other, the College of Charleston is like no other. When people talk about Mercedes, you know, they think about quality. One of the proudest things that I think I've seen is the development and opportunities for people. To see how far that I can grow within the company. Something my grandparents never seen before, you know, electric vans, just to be a part of that, that's something I'm proud of. We are Mercedes-Benz Vans Charleston. We are, we are, we are, we are, are Mercedes-Benz Vans Charleston. I am so proud to say I work there, I helped build that van. North Charleston, a great place to live, work, and play indeed, which is exactly why we've opened our second office location right here in the heart of Park Circle. Times have certainly changed, but one thing remains the same. At the Pepper Law Firm, you'll work with an attorney you know and trust, one you can relate to, because relationships and results keep this train moving, always will. To work with an attorney in our North Charleston office, call the Pepper Law Firm today. You can have live college sports in your hand this year with the brand new Varsity Network app. Hear live, play by play, and keep up with your favorite teams and audio broadcasts no matter where you are with this free new app. Be sure to download the Varsity Network app today. This March, you can listen to exclusive Westwood One coverage of the NCAA men's and women's basketball tournaments for free on the Varsity app. Powered by Learfield. Listen to every game at a truly unique listening experience. It's all free. Search NCAA Championships. for your car is as easy as one, two, three with Hendrick Buys Cars. Step one, visit HendrickBuysCars.com. Enter your license plate number or VIN. Step two, answer some simple questions and receive a cash offer in seconds. Step three, claim your offer and you're good to go. It's the easy way to sell your car fast. We'll even come and pick it up. Get cash for your car now and you don't have to buy one of ours. Learn more at HendrickBuysCars.com. The College of Charleston is the place where big ideas come to life, where you can start a business, study abroad, or change the world. A College of Charleston education will transform you. You'll become flexible and adaptable in the face of change. You'll chart your own course and make contributions in ways that matter in a community that values diverse thought with opportunities like no other. In a city like no other, the College of Charleston is like no other. When you've been hurt in a car wreck, you can begin to feel lost, confused, unsure of where to turn. Past due medical bills keep showing up, and you feel like you're going in circles. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, it's time to call all nines. George Sink Injury Lawyers has the experience to help you get your money faster. We're available to take your call nights, weekends, 24-7. Just call all nines. Get George Sink Law Firm on the line. Call 999-999. You can have live college sports in your hand this year with the brand new Varsity Network app. Hear live, play by play, and keep up with your favorite teams and audio broadcasts no matter where you are with this free new app. Be sure to download the Varsity Network app today. This March, you can listen to exclusive Westwood One coverage of the NCAA men's and women's basketball tournaments for free on the Varsity app. Powered by Learfield. Listen to every game at a truly unique listening experience. It's all free. Search NCAA Championships. CAA champions are built by commitment, dedication, and courage. CAA champions live on the court, on the pitch, on the track, on the field, and in the pool. CAA champions live 
on Flow Sports. This is your vacation, your beach, your fields of green, skies of blue, mountains of majesty. You're an athlete, you're obsessed, you're in love, you're in pain, spirit drained, in agony, fighting gravity, because you made a commitment to yourself and others to work on your game, build your frame, in blazing heat, exhausted and beat, because when you refuse to yield, your spirit is revealed. You are an athlete. MUSC Health Sports Medicine. Bust. When I first joined the board at Papa John's, I brought some big ideas. We're going to need more pepperoni. But my biggest idea, the shakaroni pizza. Make it bigger, make it bigger. More, 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 more. It's better. It's extra large with extra cheese and covered in more than 60 pepperonis. When I say a handful of pepperoni, I mean my hand. What makes shakaroni huge is that Papa John's donates $1 from every pizza to the Papa John's Foundation. One, two, three. Shakaroni! Pizza gets bigger when you shakaroni. Only at Papa John's. this heart-shaped birthmark. I got high cheekbones. I'd like to thank my dad for these enormous ears. I got this secret tooth. We all inherit something, like the risk for breast cancer. A tendency for high blood pressure. Or the potential for colon cancer. DNA can affect your health too, so take action. Join MUSC's Community Health Research Project. Visit nrdnasc.org. When you've been hurt in a car wreck, you can begin to feel lost, confused, unsure of where to turn. Past due medical bills keep showing up, and you feel like you're going in circles. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, it's time to call all nines. George Sink Injury Lawyers has the experience to help you get your money faster. We're available to take your call nights, weekends, 24-7. Just call all nines. Get George Sink Law Firm on the line. Call 999 North Charleston, a great place to live, work, and play indeed, which is exactly why we've opened our second office location right here in the heart of Park Circle. Times have certainly changed, but one thing remains the same. At the Pepper Law Firm, you'll work with an attorney you know and trust, one you can relate to, because relationships and results keep this train moving, always will. To work with an attorney in our North Charleston office, call the Pepper Law Firm today. When you've been hurt in a car wreck, you can begin to feel lost, confused, unsure of where to turn. Past due medical bills keep showing up, and you feel like you're going in circles. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, it's time to call all nines. George Sink Injury Lawyers has the experience to help you get your money faster. We're available to take your call nights, weekends, 24-7. Just call all nines. Get George Sink Law Firm on the line. Call 999 999-999.
Good to give you. <laughs> so your halftime score, Charleston on top 46 <laughs> to 39. When we take a quick look at the first half stats, Danny. Iona shot 45%, while Charleston shot 52. Iona two of nine from behind the arc. Charleston just four of 15. Both teams shot it well from the free throw line. The Gales three for three, while Charleston eight for nine. Both teams with 26 points in the paint. Charleston had a slight edge in terms of bench points, 18 to 14. Iona was led in scoring by Greg Gordon. He played 14 minutes in the first half. What a half for him. 12 points and seven rebounds. Frankie Policelli, take a look there. One of the two Cougars with 10 points in the first half. The other was Ante Berzovic. A lot of highlights from that first half. And Meyer Wall with a two-hand slam. Berzovic leading the break over to Cutton Bryce Butler. So it's saw the masked Ben Burnham protecting that broken nose. But what a start for Frankie Policelli, the transfer from Stony Brook. It seems like every team now, 13 new players for Iona, including six transfers themselves. And Iona is just a team, again, a typical New York team. They like to get to the basket. Charleston has to recognize that. Again, and wall up that paint. They don't really look at jump shots as a first option. So you let them play deeper to the shot clock moving and not get into the paint. You're probably going to talk to them in some pretty bad shots. That was a big shot right before the half, the three-pointer from the yes. corner from Rain Smith. Trey, two had seven points as well for Iona. The Cougars will begin the second half with the basketball. Charleston now moving left to right as Burnham drives to the basket. Shot off the glass. It's no good. Rebound grabbed by Iona as Brown comes down with it. Top of the key. Trey two. Over to Ponzo. Hand it back to Trey two. Just underway in the second half. Charleston up by seven, 46-39. Trey two for Trey, and Trey two buries the three. First points of the second half, make it 46-42, Charleston. On top, Fulton. In the backcourt, we'll bring it into the front court. Fulton drives to the basket, ball knocked out of his hands, but no, they're gonna call a foul on the floor. And it looked like Fulton was going in for an easy layup, Danny. But instead, the foul called on the, the floor. floor. So Fulton will inbound it. He'll get it to Burnham, hand it back to Fulton. He'll dribble to the top of the key. He'll pass it back to Rain on the right wing. Rain drives, puts on the floor, over to Policelli. Policelli working against Trey Two. Backing his way down, flop. Nope, offensive foul. Frankie Policelli wanted the flop. But the officials say no as Trey Two takes the charge. The turnover will give it back to Iona. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I, I, it seemed to be he set him up for the flop that goes against the rules, but again, it's an arbitrary call. Went against the Cougars on this one. Brown trying to cut into this four point deficit. Now. Pass to Cutton. Gale shots up. It's no good. The rebound grab by Ben Burnham. Burnham in the front court. Over to Rain. Bounce pass to Fulton. Fakes the three with the shot fake. Over to Burnham. He'll turn down the three. Drive to the rim. Left hand layup. Good. Fouled. And he'll have an opportunity to earn the three point play from the free throw line. Feels like deja vu. Attacking very early in the game. Ben Burnham. That's what you want him to do with his size. Speed and athletic ability, that's what you want. Him around the rim, attacking the defenders. Charleston does a nice job, Danny, with that shot fake. Mm -hmm. And then putting the ball on the floor. So Ben Burnham. We'll go to the free throw line. Free throw up, and it's no good. The rebound grab by Gordon. Ball knocked out of bounds by Charleston, so it will stay 
Iona basketball. 18-25 to play. Charleston up 48-42. Brown in the front court. He'll go right towards Iona bench. Now comes back left. And the ball stolen by Ben Burnham. Burnham in the front court. He'll slow it down. Pass over to Policelli. He'll line up a three-pointer off the iron. No good. Rebound grabbed by C.J. Fulton. Fulton out to Rogers. Rogers on the right wing calls for a ball screen. Oh, pass it to Rain. Rain shot up. Shot blocked. And it, the shot was blocked by Adewale. He came down with the rebound, but unfortunately for him, he was out of bounds, so it'll stay Charleston's basketball, 13 seconds to shoot. I think the officials are trying to discuss maybe should the shot clock be reset or keep it at 13. Looks like they're going to keep it at 13. The lobbing into Burnham, inside the right elbow. Burnham will take it back on the right wing, step through. And then a foul, and Tobin Anderson is besides himself. They kind of started the game out, Danny, letting them play. And now the calls got tight all of a sudden. I know. It, it, you want consistency. Like, if you're going to call it tight, that's what we're going to go with. We don't think you're going to change at halftime, but I guess they're making adjustments too. Game one. That foul's on Otto Wale. Fulton in the Smith. Over to Policelli. Drives right baseline. Spins. Pass. Out to Fulton. Fulton on the left wing. Out to Policelli. Ten seconds to shoot. Then another touch foul. And Tobin Anderson not happy with that call at all. And already that quickly, Iona with four team fouls in the second half. In just a little over two minutes. Fulton lobs it into Burnham. Burnham fakes the hand off to Fulton. He'll keep it. Step through. Turn around, shot with the left hand, rims out, no good. Burnham tried to come up with the offensive rebound, but couldn't. And then a foul's going to go against Charleston. And it looked like Brown fell on his own. Yeah, I think Fulton was the beneficiary of being the wrong place at the wrong time. Brown was a little out of control. You could see he was tripping. Tough call right there, Fulton. The crowd obviously disagrees with it. So Policelli will take a seat. Ante Berzovic will check into the lineup for Pat Kelsey. Adewale guarded by Berzovic. will hand it off to Gordon. Trey two over to Brown. Brown top of the key. Adewale hands it back off to Brown. Panzo on the left wing will drive to the middle of the floor. Drives, ball knocked out of his hands, picked up by Burnham. Bounce pass ahead to Rogers. Rogers at the rim and he'll slam it home with two hands. What a bounce pass from Benny Buckets and what a finish by Cole Beat Rogers. 50 to 42, Charleston on top by eight, 16 50. Back the other way, Tree Two with the answer. The two hand slam himself and it's a 50 to 44 lead for Charleston. Berzovic, middle of the floor, now in the front court, picks up his dribble, skip pass over to Rain. Rain Smith drives, bounce pass, corner, Burnham, three-pointer off the iron, no good. And the rebound grab by Trey Two. Panzo in the front court, left wing, deep corner. Gordon, runner, no good. Rebound loose, ball picked up by Rain Smith, and he's fouled in the backcourt by Trey Two. And Colbert, Tobin Anderson saying, just get back on defense as the fouls now starting to accumulate early on for Iona. And that's going to hurt them. When you're on the road and you get in the penalty early in the half, especially the second half, that's going to hurt you toward the end. In a close game, you just don't want to be there. Charleston doing a good job of stacking those fouls against those guys. They're going to set out and, again, face the penalty later on. Butler, Kilminster, Wohl. Policelli and Berzovic. So the first time I think tonight, Danny, we're seeing Policelli and Berzovic in together. I bet we're going to see a lot of that during the season, though. <laughs> a lot of that. So Policelli is going to inbound the basketball. Right to our left on the sideline. Policelli gets into Bryce Butler. Butler will work against the pressure. Butler brings it into the front court. Ball tipped on the pass, but saved by Kilminster. Kilminster over to Policelli. 
Out to Berzovich, out to Kilminster. He'll drive to the basketball, not out of his hands. And stolen by Iona. Quigley with it in the front court. Quigley between the circles. Williams, Jr., top of the key. Wanted to go back door, but couldn't. So instead, he'll throw it back out to Quigley. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Five seconds. Quigley backs up behind the three-point line. He'll launch a three, and it's good with one second left on the shot clock. Big shot by Quigley, and it's now 50-47. to 47. Iona is not going away. Bryce Butler trying to run the baseline. He'll get it in to Policelli. Back over to Kilminster. Kilminster sees a double team. He'll pass over to Policelli. He'll bring it into the front court. Over to Kilminster. Berzovich on the right wing. Back over to Killy. Killy drives. Back to Butler. Policelli, three-pointer in front of the Charleston bench. Ball rims up. Berzovich goes high for the rebound, but can't come down with it. Instead, Quigley comes down with it. Ahead, here come the Gales. Gordon back out to Quigley. 14.50 left to play. Charleston on top, 50 to 47. Quigley will drive left. Now come back. Throws over to Panzo. Panzo drives left baseline, shots up, and it's good. One point game, Iona. On a, on a run of their own as Charleston. Scoreless over the last two and a half minutes, and as a result, Iona on a 7-0 run. The pressure given Charleston fits. Can the Cougars hold on? 14-23 left to play, and Charleston clinging to a one-point lead, 50-49. You're listening to College of Charleston Basketball on the Charleston Sports Network. So the Gales have turned up the pressure. Quigley stepping up, hitting the big three. Just like that, we got a one-point game. It's Charleston on top 50 to 49. Isaac Bryce, the sophomore, checks back into the lineup for the Gales. So it'll be Charleston's basketball. Fulton looking to inbound it. Gets it into Kobe Rogers. Back to Fulton. Fulton in the front court. Over to Bryce Butler. Butler drives. Cut off. So now he'll try to back his way down. Now spin, turn, pass. Over to Policelli. 
Underneath, Scott, two, hand slam for the freshman. What a dish from Polacelli to Scott. Three-point lead for Charleston, 52-49, 14 minutes left to play. Williams thought about the three, is there, puts it on the floor. Dumps it down to Bryce. Bryce, jump hook over the left shoulder, too strong. And the rebound grabbed by Kobe Rogers. Rogers sprints into the front court, in front of the Charleston bench. Rogers, ball poked from behind, but not before being fouled. That will be the sixth team foul against Iona. Great passing by Charleston as Policelli with a one-hand pass to James Scott, the freshman, doing a nice job of finishing around the rim. And if you're not named Ante or Policelli, then the ball's movement, Charleston's at their best. Fulton inbounds it. Takes it out of the hands of Scott. We'll hand it back off to Fulton. Over to Rain Smith. Around to Kobe Rogers. Rogers over to Rain. Catch. Fire. Three. Off the iron. No good. There's the freshman James Scott with the rebound. Ball on the floor. Then the ball taken out of his hands. And a near steal in the backcourt. But Iona comes with it. Williams. Front court. Three-pointer from the right wing is no good. As Alex Bates not able to connect. Charleston with the rebound. Rogers over to Policelli. Celli. Between the circles, over to Rodgers. 13-13 to play as Rodgers tried to spin. He lost the ball, unforced turnover. The ball will go back to Iona. So Frankie Policelli will take a seat. Van Burnham will check into the lineup. With 13-11 left to play. You talked about it, Danny. Still first game for both teams. Right. Two outstanding. Usually your first game, you kind of ease into yeah, it. Yeah, Iona and Charleston <laughs> coming out. First game. Yeah, right away. So Iona with the basketball. Panzo over to Quigley. Quigley directing traffic. Trey two. Dribbles around in front of his bench. Work picked up now by Smith. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Trey two. Step through. Shot up. Offensive foul. Good defense by Rain Smith as he stepped in and took the charge. And that would be at the same lines of the charge that happened on the other end. You know, Trito wanted to not get that call, but again, if, if the referee calls a charge on this side for Policelli, Policelli then they got to call it on the other side. And that's what makes the flopping rule so hard to, to, to officiate. Full court pressure being applied by Iona once again. Fulton has it in the backcourt. Starts his dribble. He'll go over the top to Rodgers. Rodgers in the front court. Rodgers in the paint. Rodgers with the right hand. Layup, and it's good. Kobe Rodgers. What an opening performance for that young man. Rodgers now with six points on the night. Charleston up by five, 54-49. Quigley picked up by Berzovich. Quigley definitely with the speed advantage here. Still has it. Now picked up by Rodgers. He'll swing it over to Panzo. Hands on in front of Tobin Anderson. He'll dribble to the top of the key. Over to Gordon. Five seconds to shoot. Gordon gets into the paint. Runner. Right hand. Good. What a strong move by Gordon. And then a timeout taken by Tobin Anderson. Man, Gordon's put on a show tonight. That's 14 points on 6 of 14 shooting. Also has eight rebounds. That's a 30-second timeout that automatically turns to a full timeout. So we'll step away for a 90-second break. Kobe Rogers showing what he can do here at TD Arena tonight. Charleston leads 54-51. You're listening to College of Charleston Basketball on the Charleston Sports Network. North Charleston, a great place to live, work, and play indeed, which is exactly why we've opened our second office location right here in the heart of Park Circle. Times have certainly changed, but one thing remains the same. At the Pepper Law Firm, you'll work with an attorney you know and trust, one you can relate to, because relationships and results keep this train moving, always will. To work with an attorney in our North Charleston office, call the Pepper Law Firm today. I inherited this heart-shaped birthmark. I got high cheekbones. I'd like to thank my dad for these enormous ears. I got this secret tooth. We all inherit something, like the risk for breast cancer. A tendency for high blood pressure. Or the potential for colon cancer. DNA can affect your health too, so take action. Join MUSC's Community Health Research Project. 
visit nrdnasc.org. When people talk about Mercedes, you know, they think about quality. One of the proudest things that I think I've seen is the development and opportunities for people. And to see how far that I can grow within the company. Something my grandparents never seen before, you know, electric vans, just to be a part of that, that's something I'm proud of. We are Mercedes-Benz Vans Charleston. We are, we are, we are, we are, are, are Mercedes-Benz Vans Benz Charleston. I am so proud to say I work there, I help build that van. Bust it. When I first joined the board at Papa John's, I brought some big ideas. We're gonna need more pepperoni. But my biggest idea, the shakaroni pizza. Make it bigger, make it bigger. More, 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 it's better. It's extra large with extra cheese and covered in more than 60 pepperonis. When I say a handful of pepperoni, I mean my handful. What makes shakaroni huge is that Papa John's donates $1 from every pizza to the Papa John's Foundation. One, two, three, shakaroni! Pizza gets bigger when you shakaroni. Only at Papa John's. You talk about two outstanding college basketball coaches, Tobin Anderson and Pat Kelsey, two guys that have definitely paid their dues and have won wherever they've been. I mean, this is a heavyweight showdown. This is something that you would see. But you know, own in the year. Uh, yeah, exactly. Typically. typically. But, and look at those guys on the split screen. You think their energy carries over to their teams? <laughs> There's a reason why those guys are at the top of their profession. But kudos to Coach Anderson and Coach Kelsey for agreeing to play this game. And a Absolutely. turnover on the inbounds play is a layup off the steal from Rodgers. And again, Gordon has come to play tonight. He's got 16 points. The lead down to one for Charleston. 54-53. 11.50 left to play. As Rodgers has it in the front court. Over to Berzovich. Top of the key. Berzovich hands off to C.J. Fulton. Fulton in front of the Charleston bench. And a near steal, but it goes to Berzovich. Ten seconds to shoot. Berzovich trying to get some space. Turn, shot up, shot blocked, and then the rebound grab by Quigley. Quigley out of the pack. Iona looking to take a lead. Panzo over to Quigley. Over to Gordon. Gordon working against Burnham. Spins over to Quigley. And a travel. Yeah, good call that time. As Gene... Aaron Gorton forgot to put it down before making that first move. But look at Tobin Anderson. Yep, encouraging him. Exactly. Not saying, hey, you know what? Encouraging him. Just make, it, make that play the next time. You love to see that in these coaches. 11-15 left to play. We got a good one here at TD Arena. Charleston on top, 54-53. You're listening to College of Charleston Basketball on the Charleston Sports Network.
uh, while fans may be nervous is what you want. Take a look here at the Coastal Athletic Association preseason polls. You see Charleston the favorite, followed by Wilmington, Drexel, Hofstra, Delaware, Towson, Northeastern, as we always know. Yeah, it and won't end up like this There's at 14 all. teams that no legit chance. have a chance yes. to win. This is one of the better conferences. Oh, yeah. That and also the MAAC, which is the one that Iona uh, plays in as well. Back to action. C.J. Fulton, three-pointer off the iron. No good ball tapped out. And right into the hands of that man again, Gray Gordon. Gordon's got to be close to a double-double. Yeah, 16 points and nine rebounds now. Gordon. Dribbles, turns, shot up with the right hand, left it short. Balls tapped around, finally grabbed by Berzovic. Ahead to C.J. Fulton. Fulton in the front court, working against Quigley. Now middle of the floor, goes right down the lane. Fulton throws it out to Rain Smith. Then ball knocked out of bounds, and it will stay Charleston's basketball with 10.41 left to play. And every possession really critical now, Danny. Every pass has to be crisp. Can't have any oops. Yeah, no, lo no loose playing right now. The guy's got to tighten up, protect the ball. Van Burnham. Had the ball just taken away from him. Quigley comes up with the steal, and then he's yep. fouled. As on his way to the basket as C.J. Fulton will be the guilty party. The one thing I have noticed, Danny, it seems like Charleston has to be a little stronger with the right, basketball. exactly. And another thing you throw in, pass fakes, ball fakes. They're jumping at everything. They're going for every shot. So whenever teams are aggressive, show them the ball and, and move them to the next level to take your move. Iona with an opportunity to take the lead here. Trailing by one, 54-53, 10-25 to play. Gordon working against Burnham. Gordon backing his way down. Here comes the double team. He'll pass out of it. Three-pointer from the right wing is good. And Iona on top as Gene or Angorn. Puts the Gales up by two, 56-54. C.J. Fulton and a turnover. Rain Smith pass to C.J. Fulton. Pat Kelsey says, well, all right, just take your time, slow down. The Gales on a 7-0 run over the last two minutes. And just another, we just talked about it, Danny, an errant pass. Yeah. I mean, and, and ball handling is the number one skill of basketball. If you can't handle the ball, you can't move into your plays. And so you want to see them clean that up. You don't want to see teams move them off their strengths. And so far, the Gales are doing a good job of changing pace. Quigley walks it into the front court. Over to Gordon. Gordon stepped through. Shot up with the right hand. No good. Rebound grabbed by Iona. The ball hit the ground a couple of times. Charleston did such a good job of blocking out, they forgot to go get the basketball. Quigley reverses his dribble. Over to Gordon. Gordon hands it off. Back to Gordon. Five seconds to shoot. Drives. Good block by Rain Smith. Good job of tying, him up, tying Gordon up. However, the possession arrow favors Iona. And of course, the shot clock won't reset. So only four seconds to shoot. Great defense by Rain Smith. So four seconds, Danny, on the shot clock. Three-pointer from the right wing again. No good. Rebound grab by Policelli. Now let's see if Charleston can have a good possession here. No empty possession. Kilminster drops to the basket, comes to a stop. He'll throw it out. Policelli thought about the three, but instead puts it behind the back. Ball loose. Over to Burnham. Burnham drives to the basket. He'll pass it over. Rogers for three. No good. Too strong. But then a foul is going to go against Charleston. It's going to go against Policelli. And that'll be his first and team fourth. Ben Burnham and Rain Smith will take a seat. Butler and C.J. Fulton will check back into the lineup for the Cougars. For the Gales, Panzo Quigley. Williams Jr. Or Angoin. And Quigley just fired a three, and it's no good. Rebound grab by Kobe Rogers. Off to Kilminster. Kilminster lays it off for Kobe Rogers. Over to Policelli. He'll fire a three-pointer. That one left it way short. Rebound grab by Iona. Here come the Gales. Arangoin in the front court. Hands it off to Quigley. 8.40 left to play. Iona, 56. Charleston, 54. Williams. 
On the right wing, it's out to Aaron Golan. Back over to Williams Jr., 10 seconds to shoot. Dumped down. A wall day, no good. Rebound grabbed by Rogers. Rogers over to Bryce Butler. His drive, shots up, shot blocked, and then the rebound grabbed by Panzo. It's been a while. Charleston, four minutes and 30 seconds without a point. Williams Jr. drives, middle of the floor, hands it off. We're going. Jumper, no good. Rebound grabbed by Bryce Butler. Charleston's got to get a bucket here. Butler, pass off to Kilminster. Kilminster drives to the basket, spinning, turning, lost the ball, turnover. Ball stolen by Iona. Quigley in the front court, middle of the floor. They're going, pass it out to Quigley. Quigley drives into the paint, comes to the jump stop. Three-pointer, top of the key, no good by Panzo. And then a foul. The foul will go against, I believe, Iona. As Rogers still on the ground. Ottawale also on the ground. Good to see him up and walking it off. Still no indication as who the foul they, is on. They called it on red. They called it on Okay. Iona. So Ottawale will be the mm -hmm. guilty party. But more importantly, Danny, that will be the seventh team foul. So when we come back, Charleston will be at the free throw line shooting one plus the bonus. 7.31 left to play. Iona, 56. Charleston, 54. You're listening to College of Charleston Basketball on the Charleston Sports Network. Our team is ready to welcome your team to Cambria Hotel Mount Pleasant. This property is only minutes from your local sports fields and historic Charleston. We provide oversized guest rooms with hardwood floors and upscale amenities. Enjoy a 24-7 marketplace, fitness center, laundry, and outdoor pool. Host team meetings in our boardroom or gather at our restaurant 17 North. Call 843-849-9677 to book today. Little luxuries, big difference. Cambria Hotel, Mount Pleasant. When you've been hurt in a car wreck, you can begin to feel lost, confused, unsure of where to turn. Past due medical bills keep showing up, and you feel like you're going in circles. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, it's time to call all nines. George Sink Injury Lawyers has the experience to help you get your money faster. We're available to take your call nights, weekends, 24-7. Just call all nines. Get George Sink Law Firm on the line. Call 999-999. This is your vacation, your beach, your fields of green, skies of blue, mountains of majesty. You're an athlete, you're obsessed, you're in love, you're in pain, spirit drained, in agony, fighting gravity, because you made a commitment to yourself and others to work on your game, build your frame, in blazing heat, exhausted and beat, because when you refuse to yield, your spirit is revealed. You are an athlete. MUSC Health Sports Medicine. I'm just being myself, cool as can be. Everett German and Danny Johnson, Clyde the Kluger, joining us here at courtside. Danny, a good game here tonight. Charleston trailing by 256-54. Very impressed with this Iona team. Yeah, we didn't know what to make of them. 13 new players, you know, great success last year, but we don't know who you are. Well, we see who they are. Game one, they came out with the intensity and pressure that we expected from them. Yeah, the pressure has definitely given Charleston some fits. Iona on a 7-0 run over the last four and a half minutes. Charleston actually now with a chance to snap, uh, snap I should say, that uh, scoreless drought as Colby Rogers will be to the free throw line, shooting one uh, plus the bonus. So Rogers, first free throw up and in. Rogers tonight seven points also has five rebounds Rogers second attempt will tie it at 56 
Right, Jordan Crawford will see his first action tonight. Crawford, the redshirt freshman from Charlotte, will get his opportunity to show what he can do. An explosive scorer, Jordan Crawford is. Make the most of, of your, your minutes. opportunities. That's right. Trey, two. Working against Rain Smith. Raleigh will hand it off to Gordon. Gordon picked up by Butler. Gordon picks up his dribble. Hands off to Trey, two. Trey, two. Picked up by Policelli. Five seconds to shoot. Trey, two. He'll launch a three-pointer. Left it short. Rebound grabbed by C.J. Fulton. Great defense by Charleston ahead. Rain Smith. Policelli. Wide open three. Bang! Frankie Policelli with 13 points on the night. Policelli now three of eight from behind the arc. Puts Charleston back up by three. 59-56. 6.40 to play. And then a turnover. Nope. Ball went out of bounds. So it'll stay out on the basketball as Ben Burnham will check into lineup. He'll replace Bryce Butler. Boy, is that a big shot by Frankie Policelli. Absolutely. You can see the fans here warming up to him. He, we, he's a familiar face, but now their face. So great to see him hit a big shot right there. With Not Charles their face, Danny. Our face. <laughs> he's, our one face. Of, he's one of our faces. He's one of our faces. He's That's us right. Now. That's right. I've got so used to seeing him on the other side. Kelly. Now he's ours. The crowd at TD Arena now starting to get into it. Crawford guarding. In and out dribble by Brown. Out to trade two. Trade two. Forces a shot up on the glass. No good. Policelli with another big rebound. Outlet ahead to Fulton. Fulton in the front court and along the right. Sideline. That's a Policelli. Policelli trying to back his way down. Frankie skip pass over to Ben Burnham. Burnham. Back over to Fulton. Fulton. Back to Burnham. He'll rise. Three. Too strong off the back iron. Ball loose on the floor. And picked up by Iona as Williams comes up with it. Over to Brown. Brown speeds into the front court. Trade two for three. Too strong. No good. But there's that guy, Gordon. Rebound. Shot up. Left hand. No good. Ball goes out of bounds. And it'll be Charleston's basketball. Gordon. Man. 16 points and 11 rebounds. He's done it all tonight for the Gales. But Charleston caught a break there. That one went off of Williams. So Kobe Rogers going to come back in for Jordan Crawford. Yeah, Greg Gordon tonight has definitely shown to be the most athletic player on the floor, just going over top of a lot of guys taller than him, making plays. Just big game for him for the Gales tonight. 5.51 left to play, and Charleston on top. 59-56. Rodgers inbounds it. Bounce pass into Fulton. Fulton being aggressive. Boys the double team. They're bringing it to the front court. Charleston, want to point out, Charleston already in the bonus. Fulton drives. Pass over to Smith. Wide open three. Too strong up the back iron. Fulton taps it out. A collision near the timeline. And a foul is going to go against Smith as Smith and Gordon collided. Fortunately, neither player got hurt, but the foul will go against Rain Smith, and that'll be the 15th foul against Charleston. Yeah, sort of a bang-bang play. You just don't know what the refs are going to call. I mean, everybody has a right to the ball. Uh, tough call right there. You know, you almost want to take a charge in that situation. I mean, there's not much you can do to fight for the ball. 5.30 left to play. Charleston on top, 59-56. Gales with the basketball. Gordon draws straight down the lane. Shot up with the right hand. It's no good. Good contest by Charleston. Ben Burnham grabs the rebound. Burnham in the front court. Got to get a good shot here. Take your time. It's Burnham over to Crawford. He'll launch a three off the iron. No good. Ben Burnham tried to come up with the offensive rebound but couldn't. But instead, Gordon comes up with it. He's in the front court. Gordon looking. Pass. Over to Quigley, top of the key, picked up by Burnham. Five minutes left to play. Which team can hold on? Williams guarding against, uh, being guarded by Berzovich. Charleston in a man-to-man. -man. Rogers guarding Panzo. Hands off to Quigley. Eight seconds to shoot. Quigley, step back jumper from the outside the left lane, and it's good. Quigley with the step back jumper. Cuts the lead down to one. 59-58. Charleston on top, 435 to play. Rogers. Gets it to Smith. Smith, Van Burnham, fakes the three.
Drives into the paint. Bump. Shot up. No good, but they're going to call the foul on the floor. And that will send Van Burnham to the free throw line. He'll shoot one plus the bonus as that's the ninth team foul. Against Iona. And if you're Charleston on the offensive side of the ball, you got to recognize they're in the penalty. They don't want to foul right now. So instead of taking threes, you might want to get physical and get to the rim, force the referees to make some calls. They seem to be calling them a little tighter in the second half. And that's a big foul, Danny. That's yes. on Trey Two, and that's his fourth foul. That's right. Trey Two's got 12 points on the night. Van Burnham will be at the free throw line. Burnham two of three from the charity stripe tonight. Free throw, good. Charleston, 10 of 13. Check that now, 11 for 13 from the free throw line. Iona, perfect three for three. Burnham, second attempt, good. Charleston up by three, 61-58. Burnham out, Policelli in. Quigley. In the front court, over to Brown. Brown, middle of the floor. Quigley has it. Trey two. Ten seconds to shoot. Trey two on the baseline. The layup is good with the left hand. Defensive breakdown that time. Charleston up by one, 61-60, 3.56 left to play. We'll have our final media timeout, the next dead ball. Fulton over to Crawford. Crawford back to Policelli. 15 seconds left on the shot clock, plenty of time. Berzovich spinning, turning, forces shot out with the left hand. It's no good. Rebound grabbed by Policelli, then the ball taken out of his hands. And the foul, that's going to be the 10th team foul. So it'll be two free throws when we come back. And that foul will go against, I believe, Greg Gordon. We'll double check that when we come back. 3.39 left. It's been a heavyweight fight here tonight. Charleston 61, Iona 60. You're listening to College of Charleston Basketball on the Charleston Sports Network. North Charleston, a great place to live, work, and play indeed which is exactly why we've opened our second office location right here in the heart of Park Circle. Times have certainly changed, but one thing remains the same. At the Pepper Law Firm, you'll work with an attorney you know and trust, one you can relate to, because relationships and results keep this train moving, always will. To work with an attorney in our North Charleston office, call the Pepper Law Firm today. I inherited this heart-shaped birthmark. I got high cheekbones. I'd like to thank my dad for these enormous ears. I got this secret tooth. We all inherit something, like the risk for breast cancer. A tendency for high blood pressure. Or the potential for colon cancer. DNA can affect your health too, so take action. Join MUSC's Community Health Research Project. Visit nrdnasc.org. When people talk about Mercedes, you know, they think about quality, one of the proudest things that I think I've seen is the development and opportunities for people. And to see how far that I can grow within the company. Something my grandparents never seen before, you know, electric vans, just to be a part of that, that's something I'm proud of. We are Mercedes-Benz Vans Charleston. We are, we are, we are, we are, are Mercedes-Benz Vans Charleston. I am so proud to say I work there, I help build that van. Our team is ready to welcome your team to Cambria Hotel, Mount Pleasant. This property is only minutes from your local sports fields and historic Charleston. We provide oversized guest rooms with hardwood floors and upscale amenities. Enjoy a 24-7 marketplace, fitness center, laundry, and outdoor pool. Host team meetings in our boardroom or gather at our restaurant 17 North. Call 843-849-9677 to book today. Little luxuries, big difference. Cambria Hotel, Mount Pleasant. The nerves and everything else, but it's time to get busy. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for Charleston. On Friday, we'll play Duquesne in Annapolis, Maryland on the Naval Academy in the Veterans Classic. And next week, Charleston will be in Myrtle Beach 
for the Myrtle Beach Invitational. We'll play Vermont at 11.30 on that Thursday, and then, of course, Friday and uh, Sunday. Charleston won't be back home <laughs> until, like, December the 10th. Charleston has one home game in November. And we'll be on the road the rest of the time. But right now, the most important game is this one against Iona, as Frankie Policelli will be at the free throw line for two big free throws. He hits the first. Policelli now with 14 points to go along with his eight rebounds. Kobe Rogers is going to check in for Bryce Butler. I guess down the stretch, Danny, we'll see a lot of offense for defense, substitutions. Yes, absolutely. That's just been the way Coach Kelsey and them have coached since he's been here. He's looking for the for the matchups, offensively, defensively. They'll sub accordingly. Policelli makes both. And, yes, that last foul was actually wasn't against Gordon. It was against Brown. So Brown has four. Trey, two, has four as well. Charleston on top, 63-60, 3.30 to play. Drop to the basket, a finish and a foul. Give him two. Greg Gordon, 18 points now, 12 rebounds. Gordon, a junior, played at Dyersburg State Community College in Tennessee out of Chicago, Illinois. What an opening game for him. He's one free throw away from tying this ball game up. And he can't do it as he misses the free throw. The ball almost tapped in, but an offensive rebound by Iona, but instead a foul on Charleston. That was almost a four-point play. Almost. Again, Charleston has to meet their physicality. The, the Gales are going to use their pressure and strength to push you under the basket. They don't have the height, so they're going to use the leverage. Charleston has to fight back force with force. So Panzo will be at the free throw line. He was fouled. So Panzo at the free throw line shooting one plus the bonus. And he ties it at 63. Charleston now with 17 fouls. Iona with 10. So Panzo with an opportunity here to put the Gales on top. And he does. 64-63. Three twenty-seven left to play. Now it's past to Fulton. Over the top to Rogers. Rogers gets in the middle to Rain Smith. Over to Frankie Policelli. He'll turn down the three. Back out to Fulton. Fulton comes left. Drives. Turn around. Pass over to Ante. He'll turn down the three. On the right baseline. Step through. Shot out with the right hand. And he makes the layup. Ante Berzovic. Now with 12 points. Puts Charleston back on top. 65-64, three minutes left to play. Gordon picked up, driving, spinning, turned it over, travel. No, they're going to let him play through. I thought I heard a whistle, but the Cougars come up with the steal instead. Skip pass over the top. Fulton for three, no good. Ball goes out of bounds off of Iona. It'll be Charleston's basketball. Danny, I thought I heard a whistle on this end, and I think... Frankie Policelli did as well. Yeah, he stopped kind of right here, almost like he was waiting to get it. Almost like a football player and the flag comes out. <laughs> like, is, is, Can I keep playing? Yeah, I heard the same thing. It maybe came from somewhere else. It was a clean look. Fulton just not able to get it to fall. Charleston on top, 65-64. Inbounds play. Berzovich, one-on-one, out to Fulton. Back down to Berzovich. Berzovich spinning, turning, jump hook. Good. The big Croatian puts Charleston up by three, 67-64, 2.30 left to play, and here comes the crowd. Trey Two, step through, shot up with the left hand, and he banks it in, a big shot by Trey Two. Cuts the lead down to one, 67-66. Rain Smith gets into Ben Burnham. Burnham speeds into the front court. Burnham all the way to the rim. Bump, shot up, goaltending. Yes, they're going to call goaltending and the foul. So they're going to count the basket. Ben Burnham is going to go to the free throw line to shoot one. 
I'd like to see the replay on that. I'm, I didn't think it made it over the cylinder. I, I, I don't know. I, is that a reviewable? Yeah, the officials are taking yeah, a look at it right now. I'm not now. sure if it even made it above the cylinder. Now, they do have 69-66. They put the two points on the scoreboard. Right. 2 2 left to play. I mean, from the first replay, to me, this looks short. Therefore, a, oh, yeah. yeah, it's up there. Great camera angle. Shout out to our Charleston Sports Network crew, led by Christian Fox. Have some new toys, Danny, including a new camera behind the backboard, which we yeah, are now When you look at this possession right here, here, it just looked like it never got above the gray before he caught it, and it wasn't on the glass. I'd be surprised if they don't overturn this. Regardless, it's a foul. It's a foul. So Ben Burnham. Yeah, he caught that before it touched the glass. Officials are getting together. Let's see, will they score? Well, I, just heard, I just saw one official say two shots. Yeah. So I think they're going to agree with you, Danny. Yeah. So they're going to come give us an update. So there you have it. They call it a clean block. And that's why they have instant replay. Uh, <laughs> you know, it goes against the Cougars on this one, but I'm a fan of it because it gets the right call. I'm, I'm all about the right call. Again, shout out to the Charleston Sports Network. Absolutely. Crew, phenomenal job. Those guys back there in the back. So it's 67-66. Van Burnham's going to be at the free throw line to shoot two. Burnham tonight with 12 points. He is four or five from the free throw line. We mentioned it, Danny. It was going to come down to free throw shooting and protecting the basketball. Burnham, first attempt, falls off the iron. So Burnham will await the second. Charleston with three timeouts. Iona with two. Possession arrow does favor Charleston. Burnham, second attempt, rattles in. 68-66, Charleston up by two. Two minutes left to play, clock moving. Quigley over to Gordon, left wing. Hand it off to Panzo, back to Gordon. Working one-on-one -on -one against Burnham. Gordon spinning, trapped. Throw it out to Quigley, reverse it over. Trade two for three, no good. Rebound grabbed by Ante Berzovic. Now let's see if the Cougars can come up with a solid possession. Berzovic over to Burnham. Still plenty of time. Over to Fulton. Fulton backs it away near the timeline. 15 seconds on the shot clock. There we Game go. Game clock at 120. That's Down play, to Berzovic. Right there. Isolation on the block. Berzovic commands the double That's team. That's the play. Policelli for three. No good. Ball tapped off the backboards. Loose and finally grabbed by Trey Two of Iona. The Gales can tie it or take the lead. Trey Two. And then a foul is going to go against C.J. Fulton on Trey Two's drive to the basket. So Trey Two will now go to the free throw line to shoot one plus the bonus. Trey Two tonight, two for two from the free throw line. As a team, I own a five of six from the charity stripe. Meanwhile, Charleston. 15 for 18 tonight from the free throw line. Trey two, one and one. Free throw up, and he rattles it in. 68-67, 106 on the clock. Trey two. 17 points tonight. No good. Ball rattles out. And then an offensive rebound by Ona, but not able to be saved. And the ball goes to Charleston. Boy, did Charleston catch a break there. Policelli is going to take a timeout. Gordon came up with, the, I believe it was Gordon, or actually I think it might have been Joel Brown, came up with the rebound off of the missed free throw, was falling out of bounds, Tried to throw it off of a Cougar and couldn't quite do it. Boy, did Charleston catch a break there. Straight two 
not able to connect. Super athletic play right there by Gordon. I mean, to not only get inside, and he, he's not a tall guy. We're not talking about a guy that's 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, yeah. We're talking about a guy that's getting above people and winning rebounds he shouldn't, but has done it all night long. Yeah, Greg Gordon, just 6'5". I yeah. shouldn't say just. 6'5", 210. And he's a small 6'5". <laughs> that's stretching it. But, boy, I tell you, his energy oh, is phenomenal tremendous. tonight. He's got 18 points, 13 rebounds, and two assists. Yeah, he's one of those John Stark 6'5". <laughs> you, you're looking more like 6'3 out there. But his effect, nonetheless, is that of somebody 6'8", 6'9". He's gone up and made play after play amongst the trees. Charleston led at the half, 46-39. to In the second half thus far, Iona has outscored Charleston 28-22. to So Charleston has a one-point lead, 68-67. 57.4 seconds left. We talked about it, Danny. You got to protect the basketball. You have to also step up and make those free throws. Charleston tonight, 15 of 18. This half, seven for nine. And on this possession, you gotta you gotta assume that the ball's got to go through Baby Joker or. Polichelli, you know, it's got to go through guys who are veterans have been in this position. You don't want to give it to, to anybody that hasn't been here before. So I, I'd look to go to one of those two guys. Who will step up and hit the big shot? Rain Smith will inbound it right in front of the Charleston bench. Gets in the Fulton. And the ball stolen. They got numbers ahead. Quigley will lay it in. They steal the pass. And Iona on top, 69-68. Ben Burnham in the front court. They got numbers. Burnham over to Fulton. They'll slow it down. About a 21-second differential. They dump it down to Berzovich. Here comes a double team. Out to Rain Smith. Rain back over to Berzovich. Berzovich drives. Runner in the paint. Shots up. It's good. Ante Berzovich puts Charleston on top. 70 to 69. 30 seconds left. A three-second differential between shot clock and game clock. Charleston up, 70 to 69. Can the Cougars come up with the stop and the defensive rebound? Tillman's gonna let them play through. Gordon driving at the rim, shot up with the right hand, it's no good! Rebound by Burnham, Rain Smith has it. Rain Smith fouled in the backcourt with 4.8 seconds left. A good look by Gordon, just left it short. Charleston comes up with the rebound. And Rain Smith, but this game's not over, Danny. Even if Rain hits both free throws, still a one possession game. So take a look at the replay. Looked like it's some contact. I would not have been, mm, but not enough I, I in the, not at a game enough like this. At this a game like right. this at this time of the game, you have to be sure. That was a sort of, but he's used his physicality to get there too. So I, I think the ref looked at it like. Even up right there. I thought it was a great call. And that was the fifth foul on Trey, too. So he'll foul out with 17 points on the night. Yeah, he's their three-point shooter, too. So now <laughs> that brings up the other point. If Rain makes these, your three-point shooter is now on the bench. The only guy that's shown that he can really make that shot. So interesting to see how the Gales play this one out after this possession. Rain Smith shot 89% from the free throw line last year. Tonight, Smith, two of two from the free throw line. First attempt up and in. Kobe Rogers is going to check into lineup. He'll replace C.J. Fulton. Then a timeout. And Tobin Anderson telling officials that was a foul. Yeah, he's going to fight for his guy. Uh, Gordon had earned the right to maybe earn that call, but he's played tonight. But I just thought best time to score the game. That's just not a call you want. You know, let them, let them play it out. And it wasn't enough contact, I think, to send him to the line. A full timeout. Let's take one with him. Let's take a one-minute break. We'll take a one-minute break. When we come back, we'll wrap it up here at TD Arena. Charleston, 71. Iona, 69. This is College of Charleston basketball on the Charleston Sports Network.
Monte Berzovich with the runner in the paint to put Charleston on top. But now 4.8 seconds left. Charleston 71, Iona 69. Rain Smith at the free throw line to shoot one. Danny, do you, if Rain hits this, do you play solid no, D? Play, do you play, foul? I'm, I'm a defensive guy. I'm not the guy that plays the percentages. I, I don't think Iona has shown themselves to be a good enough three-point shooting team in general. I just think good defense uh, plays out. That's just my philosophy. Every coach is different about how they approach it, but I just think they don't have the shooters, and you take your chances. Iona 5 for 19 behind the arc tonight. But first, Rain Smith at the free throw line. Free throw up. Free throw. No good. Rebound and a timeout oh. taken by Iona with 4.1 seconds left. Rain Smith. Mr. Automatic, not yes. so automatic. That one just rimmed out. Yeah, yeah, he kind of made a look. He looked around and was like, wow. <laughs> surprised. Everybody's surprised he missed. I'm so used to him making his free throws, Mr. Automatic. But interested to see what they draw up here. You know, two down two, they might take the philosophy of just trying to get to the rim. They might not even attempt the three. I, I believe with Gordon's and their ability to really press the paint all game, you get to the rim. Well, the one thing we do know, Danny, you don't want to give them a straight drive. Right. You got to turn them and make them go exactly. east and west. East don't and let them west. go north no and north south. north and south. Four seconds is an eternity in basketball, though. It, it's really a count closer to seven, eight. So Charleston's going to have to get the stance right now and keep them out of the paint because I'm pretty sure uh, Gordon and one of them with a lot of foot speed is going to try to make their way to the rim. So Iona will break the huddle. Arn Goen will be in, as well as Bates, Brown, Gordon, and Panzo. For Charleston, Policelli, Burnham, Rain Smith, Berzovich, and Kobe Rogers. Cougars will pick up full court. We got two in the front court, two in the back court. Berzovich. Both teams getting set. Aaron Goen is going to inbound. Kobe Rogers on the ball. Oh, the scoreboard showing four minutes and two seconds left. I think we should probably go with 4.2 seconds left. There we go. There we go. Obviously, shot clock off. Charleston 71, Iona 69. 4.2 seconds left. Iron going, looking. Gets it. On, on the run. Round, on a run in the corner, three pointer for the win. No good off the rim. Oh, that ball almost went in. A three pointer by Panzo just misses. Oh, my goodness. The Cougars escape. 71 to 69, a well drawn out play for Iona, a good look. As you see Brown got it ahead, Panzo, a three pointer right in front of Tobin Anderson. The ball hits the front of the iron and just missed. And the Cougars escape. 71 to 69. All I have to say is, wow, yeah. <laughs> two outstanding, forget mid-major, two outstanding college basketball teams right. on display here tonight. This Iona team, they're going to win a lot of games this year. For sure. This Charleston team, they're going to win a lot of games this year. For sure. And we were just privy, Danny, to an outstanding ball game. Yeah, and we're, see we're seeing two teams at, at their primitive state. Like, a lot of new players, a lot of people haven't played with each other for a while. So you're seeing just the, the beginning of what these teams can be. That's what happens in game one. So I, I'm just I'm happy as an ex-basketball player just seeing the level in game one from both sides. What a great game for these Charleston crowd. Well, that'll wrap it up here for our friends at Flow Hoops. Again, the final score, Charleston wins 71 to 69. The post-game show on the radio side coming up after this. Thanks for watching College of Charleston Basketball on the Charleston Sports Network.